Hello guys and gals, this is Ty from BeerOnIT.com. I thought I'd uh, quickly show you how to fix a problem that I've been having. Um, yesterday I came into the office, I was going to play a DVD in my, uh, in my computer, in the DVD drive. And, uh, you know, the autoplay didn't pop up, nothing was happening. Went into my computer and I realized that none of my DVD drives were showing up. I have two of them and none of them were showing up. Um, so I'll let you see it how I see it. I've got all my hard drives and some network drives, but I do not have my DVD drives. So the first thing I did was uh, go to the device manager. And, you know, usually this is a pretty simple fix. And I was actually going to do a video yesterday of just simple video of how you update drivers. Um, you can see here for the Philips and the Sony uh, DVD drives that, um, you know, it's getting the error message. If you actually look at one of these and go to properties um, and the driver details, I'm sorry, what do I want to look at? Um, you know, Windows cannot load the device driver for this hardware. The driver might may be corrupted or missing. So, you know, I, I tried to update the driver. It wouldn't work. Um, tried doing a Windows update. Um, also downloaded the firmware just in case that would make a difference. It didn't. So, um, in case you guys ever run into this problem where something like this happens to you and, and trying to either update or roll back the drivers doesn't work, here's another option. Um, you can go to the support section on, on Microsoft and it'll actually take you through this automated uh, troubleshooting service where it'll scan your computer. So what's, what it sounds like happening, what's happening is, I, th I think the driver's there, but um, the operating system just isn't reading it. Or it's not cooperating with it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and click Run Now. We're going to save that file. We're going to go ahead and run that. All right. It's going to have to download a few things here. And in all honesty, this is actually not something I've had to use a whole lot. Um, usually just updating the driver works, but occasionally you might have to do something like this. And not many people are aware that this exists. So I'm just going to do a little pause here so you guys don't have to watch uh, the full install. And we'll resume after it's downloaded and installed. Thanks. Okay, it's all installed. It gives us uh, two different options here. Detect problems and apply the fixes for me, or detect the problems and let me select the fixes to apply. We're going to go ahead and try the recommended one first. You can see up here it's uh, the reading and writing for the CD and DVD drives. Hey, there you go. Look at that. We just found my Sony DVD-ROM drive. Let's see if we find my Philips. Oh, looks like we found the Philips drive. I like that. Let's see if it's already popped up here. I at least have my DVD drive. I got one of them. Oh, there we go. Now we found the Philips. Beautiful. Okay, so in case you guys um, are having the same trouble, you go into your computer, you can't see your CD or DVD drives, and uh, trying to update the driver doesn't work, just remember that you can go to, I'll read you the URL here, at support.microsoft.com slash gp slash cd underscore dvd underscore drive underscore problems and uh, that will allow you to run this automated troubleshooting service remember to visit us at beeronit.com 
where we have a blog that's updated daily. We also have a very active forum where people uh, can ask and help other people answer questions about computer repair. And we also offer a full line of uh, computer and laptop repair DVD courses. And we also have a start a business course if in case you're thinking about starting your own computer repair business. All right, take care.